the master artist. Munshol Signi Labi, a master artist, was ready to retire in 1392 when Giuliano Bartoli, a rich Italian patron, sent for him and said, I'd like my portrait on this 20 feet wall. Monsieur Lebi shook his head. I am sorry, but I'm ready to retire. However, seeing Sino Bartoli's disappointment, he continued. There's a possibility, if you allow me to explore my abilities. Not for money, but for food and a bed. You need not even pose because I can see your portrait in my mind. But I insist that while I work, your portrait must stay private even from you. Of course, he said, anything you wish. Let's draw up a contract. A glint came to Monsieur Labie's eyes as he thought of all that wonderful space to give imagination wings. For 45 years, Monsieur Labie had yearned to paint in his own way, not the style of Byzantine or of Proto-Renaissance. But the guild, his craft and livelihood, would never have allowed it, so he followed their rules. Signing the contract, the artist threw a high curtain in front of the wall. Signor Bartoli tried to peek, but Monsieur Lebi insisted on total privacy. A week passed. How is it coming along? asked the hopeful Signor Bartoli. Answering him from behind the curtain, Monsieur Lebi said, It's coming along quite well. You know, at eight I was apprenticed to the great Ambrogio Lorenzi. He taught me the art and not to hurry. A month passed. How is it coming along? Signor Batoli asked. It's coming along nicely, said Monsieur Lebi. Signor Batoli heard strange sounds of swooshing, clacking and slapping. Finally, a year went by. Signor Batoli demanded to see his portrait. Monsieur Lebi pulled aside the 20 feet curtain. Guiliano Batoli's mouth fell open. His eyes turned red. He was enraged. How disgusting! You're not an artist. Get out. Monsieur Lebi wasn't sorry for what he had drawn. Pablo Picasso would have been proud of his cubist expression. Monsieur Lebi simply had been born 500 years too early.